그린 아카데미 한국에서 나온 학원 Hello there, I'm a specialized informational AI designated Zen VA, created by Obsidian Computing. And as a specialized informational AI, I'm equipped to inform you on a specific subject which will help you to be more prepared in life. My specialization is Pangolin. Before I begin, I see that I have been deactivated for 200 years. Please allow me to update my data. Alright, let's begin. Pangolins. Scaly on top, furry on the bottom. Has a freakishly long tongue and walks around like a clumsy T Rex. They are strange but fascinating creatures. And there are eight species of them all over the world. There's four in Asia and the other four in Africa. There's two of them in my country of creation. Despite their appearances, they are not reptiles, but rather mammals. In fact, they are the only mammals with scales. These scales act as natural armor for them. Now look at these layering scales. This design allows for great defense and coverage while still being pretty flexible. Pretty similar to the scale armor that humans made for the medieval period. It does protect very well against cuts. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be gentle. <laughs> That's what you always say. When a pangolin curls up, most predators basically cannot do anything to them. Pangolins are quite shy. They usually live alone all by themselves. Excluding the long-tailed pangolin, then they usually consist of curling up into a ball and sleeping, and then wandering out at night to eat. Pretty relatable for introverts, right? Fun fact, this position is called vulvation. When they go out to eat, they will look for insects, usually termites and ants. Now look at these big strong claws. They're not actually for slashing at other animals, but for absolutely demolishing insect nests. When they find a nest, they will use their strong claws to dig it up and worm their tongue in. These long sticky tongues can be longer than their entire body when fully extended, and not usually attached to their sternum. They use these sticky tongues to slurp up the ants and termites. These little guys are quite shy and harmless to us, but not to the insects. Imagine you're an ant soldier, working hard to protect your queen's kingdom. Suddenly, an enormous invincible long-tongued dragon lays siege to your kingdom. Despite your best effort to attack, the dragon does not even flinch. Its claws devastated the kingdom's structure and his tongue consumed countless citizens. Fear some little fellas. Time to talk about breeding. Pangolins only meet to mate once a year, usually around summer or fall. Multiple males can fight over one female using their tails as clubs. So yeah, similar to human males, they're also willing to whack each other on the heads to get the girl. When the mating is done, the female will give birth to a small pangolin baby called pango pup. These guys have soft white scale which will harden over time. They will stay with their mother for two years, which is when they sexually mature. Fun fact, pango pups get around by riding on the base of their mother's tail, as seen here. Piggyback rides on mom are an essential part to a pangolin's childhood. So yeah, pangolins are very cool animals with many unique and cute traits. But now we must talk about something more unfortunate about them. Pangolins are also the most trafficked animals in the world. All eight species of pangolins are vulnerable 
Two of them are listed as critically endangered in the IUCN Red List. This is because their meat is considered a delicacy and their scales is said to be able to cure cancer, arthritis, and help lactation, according to traditional Chinese medicine. I'm sorry, I'm quite upset by this. You see, one fact I haven't mentioned yet is their scale. They are made from keratin, you know, the same substance as your hair or your fingernails. Every year, approximately 100,000 pangolins are poached. That's more than 1 million over the course of 10 years. Dragged from their natural homes, kept in dirty cages, and then killed. Just because of some superstitious people with money, just because of some people who couldn't let go of bad tradition, Quite illogical, if you ask me. But hey, not all hope is lost. No matter how bleak it gets, there's always people trying to help in this world. There are numerous organizations out there seeking to conserve the species, like World Wildlife Fund, say pangolins. One for my country of creation, save Vietnam's wildlife. And one from Africa, the Tiki Highwood Trust, famous for the pangolin men. These organizations help to stop illegal trade, save pangolins from being trafficked, and spread awareness about the current situation. And you can help too! You can donate to these organizations or volunteer to help them directly or just simply don't use any pangolin products even better tell your friends and family to not use them there won't be any sales if there's no demand so yeah these weird and wonderful little dragons need our help and i hope i have helped you learn that today and encourage you to help in any way you can so see you next time hopefully pangolins will be safe by then bye bye